Matthew's a record hoarder, and we're going to go through his record collection right now. Hoarder? I like to think I'm a connoisseur. A lot of you have been curious to know what lies behind this. Behind and, us. And there, and there. There, and there. The whole room is pretty much records in a bed. I'm sitting around 1,500 records right now. I have, I have a lot. And I feel like I have a personal attachment to most of them. So Sandy's challenged me to... She's going to pull random records from my collection and have me explain why, it, why it's important to me and why it's a great album and why it's cool. And to one lucky viewer, we have a giveaway for you. Yeah, you'll get to win a record. It is Heratera Quiet Geist. I'll explain a little bit more about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Let's start digging. Please be, be gentle with him. I don't, try, I don't trust your living You're records. I'm like so nervous. <laughs> His OCD is going to kick it. Okay. This one. We oh, of course, oh, this one. Damn it. <laughs> this is To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. No big deal. Um, <laughs> you could check out our review to see what we think of it. There's a reason I own it. It's because it's one of the best albums to come out in the past couple of years. Animal Collective, Strawberry Jam. This is not the first album that got me into them, but this is arguably their best. Um, the transition of Forever and Green into Fireworks is one of my favorite transitions between two songs on any album ever. If you don't know Animal Collective, this is an album you should check out, Strawberry Jam. You should know Animal Collective. By the way, I just went um, rock climbing, so I'm in my athletic gear. Yeah, you smell terrible. <laughs> Yes! This is an album that I have been recently obsessed with. What? Jimmy Eat World, Bleed American. Everyone knows, you know, the middle and sweetness. Those are their big songs. Um, but this is one of the best pop punk albums of all time. It's super consistent from the first track to the twelfth. It is just iconic. You'll recognize more songs than you think. I think this is one of my favorite albums, actually. This is... You just posted a Facebook status about that. I did. I did. Because this album is... I, I listened to it for the first time and years maybe like a couple months ago and then they just reissued this because it was out of print and uh, they have a three LP version of this with bonus tracks I'm trying to track that down so if you have one let me know but yeah this album Hear You Me is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard I have no idea who this is so right away Great Captain uh, this is awesome this is a recent addition to my collection this is a trilogy it's all three of the albums that right away Great Captain did this is the side project of Andy Hull, who is the singer of Manchester Orchestra. Yes. This is, uh, it's a concept album about a sailor that goes off to sea, and it goes over, the story spans over all three albums, and it's a what? folk album. Super That's beautiful. Cool. All the discs of this are so pretty. They're on this, like, uh, this packaging is super grand. I don't want to take it out because it's, like, enormous, but... Uh, you should take it out. I'm going to take it out. All right. So, it's, like, first of all, it's hand-numbered. So, I've, I have 469 out of 1,000. There were only 1,000 copies of this. But uh, I'll just take out the first disc. Okay. I'll put it in a nicer sleeve. Oh, that's but so each, each disc has a different kind of splatter. This one is a nice, like, a uh, yellow splatter on clear. Nice Pikachu splatter. How expensive was that? Um, it was about 70 maybe? For three? That's not bad. For three albums, and it's like a limited thing? Yeah, I'm, it's actually funny. It sold out on me before I can get to it, and I emailed uh, their store, and Andy Hull's mom emailed me back because she was handling the orders and she was like what? she was like yeah we can get you one more and I was like oh you are the best woman and uh, she sent me this yeah I mean I bought it but she sent delivered by his mom <laughs> she delivered to my door no but this is a uh, that's really, really great cool. trilogy if you don't if you like folk this is un this is underrated I'm gonna listen to it just because her his mom did that for you thanks mom she just picked George Harrison 33 and a third um, I actually got really big into George Harrison after I saw the George Harrison Tribute Concert, which was in LA a couple years ago. And uh, I was never like a big solo career Beatles fan, but I realized how incredible his catalog was having gone to that show and seeing all these musicians like Brad Wilson and Brandon Flowers and Britt Daniels from Spoon and all these people I love. Weird Al did a song. And uh, this is one of his best solo albums, I think, 33 and a third. So check it out if you like the Beatles. Just keep them coming, all right. Flying Lotus, 1983. Uh, this is actually the only one that hasn't gotten a repress because it was not on the same label as everything else in this catalog. How this, much was it? I got it on Discogs from someone for about 30 bucks shipped from, I think, overseas because it's a little scratchy. It's not the quietest record, but I think it's it's definitely listenable. Um, I just never thought I'd find it. What's fl Flying Lotus genre? It's like a psychedelic electronic pop. Emancipator, safe in the steep cliffs. That's a tongue twister. Uh, this Emancipator is one of my favorite down-tempo electronic artists. I think that he has just this incredible sound about him, and I have all of his albums, including the newest one that just came out on vinyl, because he is 
he's a, a, a must have for any collection. If you don't know Emancipator, it's like the most peaceful. It almost it, it evokes this atmosphere of just this, like the seasons, like wintry or fall, depending on which album. And yeah, this album is terrific. Highly recommend it. Boards of Canada. Music has the right to children. This is another band that I absolutely adore. It's uh, kind of ambient, uh, down tempo, experimental. They are the pioneers of this type of music, or they're they're one of the earlier groups that did this kind of sound. And at first, when I first heard it, as, when I was in high school, I was like, I, I don't get it. But as I got older and appreciated ambient music more, it's really it's as beautiful, you know. The, the arrangement of sound that they use to create these soundscapes is unlike any band of the of, I can think of. Uh, Boards of Canada are legends. And, How much was it? Uh, I got this. This was a, this is the repress. The original goes for like two hundred dollars. The repress like uh, twenty bucks. Where'd you get it? Online. Reddit. Someone on Reddit hooked me up. That's cool. Ernest Gonzalez. Been meaning to tell you. Uh, this was pressed by my friends over at Friends of Friends, a label in Los Angeles. I interned for them for about three days. It was awesome. And then I got a job that <laughs> didn't allow me to continue. Unfortunately, they were really nice, though. Um, yeah, this is a really good down-tempo electronic album. It's on really pretty white vinyl, too. Um, yeah, this is just one uh, I got just by working for them for a couple days. So I have it because they gave it to me, and it was very nice of them. And uh, it's sweet. a great album. <sighs> you picked a good one, Sandy. This is Blue Sky Black Death Noir. This album is one of the most important albums to me out of any record in my collection. It's arguably what? in my top five of like, importance. This album was pressed by Sly Vinyl, which is my favorite music blog. Shout out to you guys. Um, this is the first pressing ever that ever came out. It's gold embossed. I have number 176 out of 500. First of all, the packaging is top notch. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. The discs, one's blue and one's red. I'll just show you. That's the red one. But uh, the, this album is super important to me because I got this album fairly early into me collecting records and at that time I wasn't that into down-tempo electronic and this album changed my entire life it changed my music taste it brought me to people like Tycho that it, are like my all-time favorites and this album is just a masterpiece and you can close your eyes and it'll take you on a cinematic journey unlike anything these are these are two producers I think they're from Seattle and everything they've done in their catalog is great but this is this is the the crux this is noir is just I never heard something like it and it completely transformed my taste into something that I never thought I had and it's just exploded from there. So this album is really, I'll never get rid of this. This is very special to me and I feel very lucky to own it. How much did you pay for it? It's like 20 bucks. It goes for like five times that now. Ooh. Good pick. Good pick. In the Court of the Crimson King. Uh, apparently I got this for $10, which is a crazy deal, because this is a really hard to find album even though it's classic. This is considered one of the best prog rock albums of all time. Uh, I actually, in a previous video, showed the Flaming Lips cover album of this, which is on that crazy psychedelic swirl. This album is is absolutely terrific. It's uh, very trippy. It's funny, Kanye West sampled uh, one of the songs on this for his single, Power, where it's like, 21st century, it's good, so hey man, that's from this album. That's so, uh, if you like prog rock, you know this. If you don't like prog rock, this could be a good one to get you into it. So, in the Court of the Crimson King. Yeah! 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 One of my favorite albums ever. I know I say that a lot, but that's because I obviously love a lot of records. Brand News, Your Favorite Weapon. I think the quintessential pop-punk record, if you are angry, but like, but it's like angsty and young, and even when you're, <laughs> when you're not young, like me, and you can still relate to it. Uh, this album is amazing. I got to see them perform it front to back uh, at a rare show a couple years ago, uh, where I met one of my best friends, Chris. Shout out to Chris. And, uh, yeah, this album is terrific. The original cover actually had a uh, chess game on it, and I'm looking for that because I kind of want to have the original cover as well, but this is the 10th anniversary cover. And, yeah, your favorite weapon, brand new. They are, I mean, this is a classic. If you don't know it and you like pop punk, what are you doing? I don't like pop punk, but I've seen brand new a couple of times, and they're so good at yeah. what they do. Mm -hmm. It's made me very much appreciate pop punk. Okay. Yes. City and color. City and color. So. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Sitting in color, sometimes. This is uh, his first album, Dallas Green. Um, his first album from his acoustic side project, City in Color. I got super lucky because one day he posted on his Instagram that he was putting up a few copies of all of his albums on their like super limited colored version. And I got on the site right when they went up and I got all of the albums on color and they sold out within like 10 seconds. So this is like this gorgeous like blue. I feel like with all your stories, you're just always online. <laughs> Yellow. But yeah, this album is folk bliss. I mean, everything he's done, um, I'd say the Hurry and the Harm is his 
least exciting, and the new one's really good too, but his first three albums, oh, look at this amazing gatefold. Like, it's like a tattoo sleeve. Yeah. But uh, I'm very happy I got this because they go for over a hundred a piece now, and I got them for like 20 bucks each. I know what I'm stealing. Cool. Thank you for sharing. If you guys liked what we did, we'll do a thousand more videos like this. We have see, enough to go through. To see Matt's really cool collection. And now we're going to show you a quick video that our friend Jason sent us. Uh, he submitted for our last contest, and this is some of his collection. Very impressive. My record collection consists of about 575 pieces split up between around 430 12 inches, 147 inches, and the rest would be 10 inches in test pressings. So uh, I have a wall of shame, wall of fame, depending on how you look at it, where I post 15 records every month that are unique. Uh, this month's theme was the MXPX wall. Each one of these items is actually autographed by every member of MXPX original. And uh, here's sort of the 12-inch set that I have. Um, I sort all of my records by genre with little bin cards. I have everything from rap to um, math rock to ska punk rock. My interests tend to uh, gravitate towards music that is on the more aggressive side of the spectrum starting in about 1988 to present day. So I look for rare obscure 90s rock that's been out of print for a long time when I'm at used record stores. I look for punk rock records that are out of print. I hope you guys like my little humble office in Colorado and uh, enjoy the posts that I post for Instagram. We're gonna put his Instagram in the description below, so check him out. And if you wanna show us your record collection, send us your videos to dammitsandymusic at gmail.com. And the giveaway. So, this is a band called Heraterra. It's kind of like electro rock. It's on a label called Mylene Sheath, which has a lot of incredible post rock, which is, if you don't know post rock, it's like expansive soundscapes of guitar and drums, and it's beautiful. Uh, some of my favorite post rock bands, Caspian, Beware of Safety, Giants, they're all on there. Uh, this is on a tasty, Translucent purple vinyl. Ooh. If you like grapes, you might like this album. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this could be yours. So how do you win, Sandy? So you win by sharing one of our videos on Facebook and tagging us on it and telling your friends to subscribe. That's as easy as it is to win this awesome record. So do that. In two weeks, we will announce the winner of the giveaway. So best of luck to everyone. United States only. Sorry. Sorry, international shipping so hard. Awesome. Love you guys. Subscribe, comment. We love you. I'm Matt. And I'm Sandy. And this is Damn It, Sandy.